we are going to study integers evaluate each of the following i'm not going to solve these questions these questions are for you i'm going to give you some examples whereby you can understand so example like suppose minus 40 divided by 4 so we write minus outside we write 40 divided by 4 and that will be minus 10. similarly suppose we have minus 36 divided by minus 6 since both are negative so minus sign will cancel out or we can write minus 36 divided by minus 6 these minus minus will become plus so answer will be 6. now let's take another example suppose now uh, i'm writing here suppose minus 20 divided by minus 10 further divided by say minus 2 so first we divide minus 20 by minus 10 so it will become minus 20 divided by minus 10 then further divided by minus 2 so here this will become 2 minus minus will become plus so we get 2 divided by minus 2 that is 2 divided by minus 2 will give minus 1 so these are examples for you and with the help of these you can solve these questions okay let's see next question verify that a divided by b plus c does not equal to a divided by b plus a divided by c let's take one example suppose we are given a divided by b plus c we have to prove that it does not equal to a divided by b plus a divided by c suppose we take some number like a equal to say 30 b equal to say 6 and c equal to say 3. now if we consider this left hand side so a divided by b plus c that is 30 divided by b plus c so b plus c means 6 plus 3 so 30 divided by 9 in table of 3 3 10 ja, 3 3 ja. so we have got 10 by 3 in lhs now let's consider rhs rhs means right hand side so this side is called rhs and this is lhs so lhs we have evaluated now let's take rhs a divided by b plus a divided by c so equal to a a is 30 here so 30 divided by a divided by b b is 6 so that will give 30 divided by 6 will give 5 and plus 30 divided by c c is 3 so that will give 10 so this will give 5 plus 10 which is 13 in lhs we have got just 10 by 3 and here in rhs we are getting 13 so both the sides are not equal means lhs does not equal to rhs right so this concept is to be used while solving the problem you will try like this fill in the blanks i'm giving some examples suppose you are given 45 divided by some number gives 45 so only here we can write one right because 45 divided by one will give 45 suppose the question is 
45 divided by what equal to minus 45. So here there is no minus sign. It means there should be minus one. Suppose minus 45 divided by something equal to minus 45. It means there should be one minus sign. So it should be one. And suppose minus 45 divided by something is 45. So this minus sign will disappear only when there is another minus sign. So minus one. So this is how you can solve these questions. Thank you.